Hello folks, earlier this year Samsung surprised Galaxy S fans by abandoning its two-chip strategy for the Galaxy S23 series and pairing the flagship trio with a Qualcomm chip worldwide. Exynos was out of the picture, but only temporarily. The Exynos chip will reportedly return to the Galaxy S lineup next year, but even so, things will supposedly be different. A new rumor suggests that the Galaxy S24 Ultra will be powered exclusively by the Snapdragon Agent 3 for Galaxy chipset worldwide. White. That won't be the case for the rest of the 2024 lineup, but Samsung will reportedly make an exception for the Ultra model. The Galaxy S23 Ultra was Samsung's best-selling flagship in the first half of 2023, according to market data from Omdia. In fact, it was the best-selling Android phone globally, and some suspect that the Snapdragon exclusivity was one of the reasons behind this success. Then again, the base and past models benefited from this chip exclusivity in equal measure, yet failed to reach the top 10 list. Fans seem to gravitate more toward the Ultra model. Data from market research firm Korea Investment and Securities indicates that cumulative Galaxy S23 sales reached 18.63 million during the first six months of availability. Compared to the Galaxy S22 flagships in their first six months on the market, Galaxy S23 sales increased by around 23%. By model, the research firm says that Samsung sold 8.89 million Galaxy S23 Ultra models, 3.31 million Galaxy S23 Plus models and 6.43 million base models. The smaller Galaxy S23 appears to have outsold the Galaxy S23 Plus, but neither reached the Ultra's heights. Regardless, Samsung may have pushed itself into a corner by using a Snapdragon chip exclusively for the 2023 flagship phones. Many fans prefer Snapdragon over Exynos, and as a result, it might not be easy for Samsung to go back to its classic two-pronged strategy and split the market between Exynos and Snapdragon chips across the entire flagship series. The the theory now is that the Galaxy S24 and Galaxy S24 Plus will use the unannounced Exynos 2400 chipset in some markets and the Snapdragon Agent 3 in others, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra will employ the Snapdragon chip everywhere in the world to appease fans. As for the chips themselves, the Exynos 2400 chip seems promising on paper, especially since Samsung had a lot more time to develop it. It's said to have 10 CPU cores and twice as many GPU cores as the Exynos 2200. The Snapdragon Agent 3 for Galaxy has 8 CPU cores and some cores are clocked higher than the standard version of the chip. Samsung is reportedly planning to upgrade the display experience of its entire Galaxy S24 series, not just the Ultra model. All three variants will supposedly have brighter displays and the Galaxy S24 Plus might boast a high resolution panel than its recent predecessors. You may have heard the recent rumor about the Galaxy S24 Ultra having a real bright AMOLED display capable of topping 2500 needs of bright well, the news keeps getting better. Samsung might give the entire Galaxy S24 series new displays capable of reaching the same brightness levels as the Ultra model. According to a rumor, the Galaxy S24, Galaxy S24 Plus and Galaxy S24 Ultra will all be capable of reaching peak brightness levels of 2500 nits. And that's not all. In addition to giving the upcoming Galaxy S24 series brighter displays, Samsung might also equip the Plus variant with a high-resolution panel. Instead of 2340 by 1080 pixels, the Galaxy S24 Plus will supposedly have a resolution of 3120 by 1440 pixels. Samsung hasn't used a WQHD Plus resolution for the Plus model since the Galaxy S20 Plus. Subsequent models had a lower resolution, which most people didn't mind, as pixel density was still high enough to deliver a crisp image. If the rumors are correct, the Galaxy S24 Plus will have a higher resolution display with much higher peak brightness capabilities. With the these changes, Samsung is bound to impress spec sheet enthusiasts, but on the other hand, battery life could potentially suffer, so whether these changes will really lead to a better user experience remains to be seen. Samsung launched seven new products during its Galaxy Unpacked event last month. However, the company isn't done with new launches though and is planning to launch a couple of new tablets, a smartphone and some wearable devices. The South Korean firm is planning to launch the Galaxy S23 FE, Galaxy Tab S9 FE, Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus, Galaxy Buzz 3 and the Galaxy Smart Tag 2 before the end of this year, according to tipster Max Jamba. The Galaxy S23 FE is rumored to feature a 6.4-inch Super AMOLED 120Hz screen with Full HD Plus resolution, the Exynos 2200 processor, 8GB RAM, 128 or 256GB storage, stereo speakers and an IP67 rating for dust and water resistance. The phone reportedly has a 10MP selfie camera, a 50MP 
megapixels primary rear camera, a 12 megapixels ultrawide camera, and an 8 megapixels telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom. According to previous reports, the Galaxy S23 FE will have a 4500 mAh battery and 25 watt fast charging. It is also expected to feature 15 watt fast wireless charging and a 4.5 watt reverse wireless charging. And finally, it will run Android 13 based One UI 5.1.1 out of the box. Both Galaxy Tab S9 FE and Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus use the same Exynos 1380 processor, 8 or 12 GB RAM, 128 or 256 GB storage, and a micro SD card slot. The Galaxy Tab S9 FE has a 10.9 inch screen and a single rear camera, while the Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus has a 12.4 inch screen and dual rear camera. Both tablets feature bundled S Pen, stereo speakers, and Android 13. The Galaxy Buds 3 were expected to launch alongside the Galaxy Flip 5 and the Galaxy Fold 5, but that never happened. The upcoming earbuds are expected to feature a newer version of Bluetooth and support for LE audio. Not much else is known about these earbuds. The Galaxy Smart Tech 2 comes with built-in Bluetooth 5.3, ultra-wide band, and an IP68 rating. Guys, anyway, we will keep you updated, so subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Good luck to all.